Quick locked out of four. This is a rare sight. Newman looking for the end zone. Flag is thrown. Will not matter. Touchdown, Sage Surratt. Who is to just transfer and forget everything. And you know, sometimes it's more rewarding when you just stick it out. Sage Surratt on a third and nine as a first down for Wake Forest. He was going to be stopped short. He got away from a couple of Utah State players for 15. Well, he was wrapped up early. And I thought the play was going to be cut short, and he just kept plowing forward. Surratt again. The second all-time leading scorer in basketball in the state of North Carolina. He's the first ever player of the year in basketball and football in North Carolina history. Uh, they're going to continue to pick on DJ Williams at 5'9", 180. These big receivers. Wouldn't be surprised. They go, they go right back to it. Three in a row. No doubt. And Surratt gets out of the Williams tackle inside the 20 for a first down. I might give him... Just slow the tempo down a little bit and go right back there. Again, that's three plays in a row to Sage Surratt tonight. Jamie loves that deep ball, and he's got it to Surratt. Sage Surratt will score. Christian Beal Smith next to Newman. Newman looking to the corner, fires, and it's caught. Sage Surratt, touchdown. Wake Forest, two possessions and two touchdowns. Third and two now. Instead, he's going to fire it out far side. Surratt's got it. Surratt's got it out across the 45-yard line. Does Sage Surratt continuing to pile up the yardage? George Nyakwal made the stop once again. Watch Beal Smith. Or you're going to see first Surratt at the top of the screen. I mean, he's just so big and physical. Decision right now. Fresh set of downs for Wake Forest. Got Shot him. deep. Surratt got it. And he is in for the touchdown. What a night for Sage Surratt. Started a little bit rough early. Had the jitters playing against the big brother. Got loose long early down the sideline. Now with a 51-yard touchdown with a perfectly thrown ball. And it's a great call. They pump the bubble to the right. Kind of a stalk route. Go back like you're going to block him. And then you take off. Surratt with an excellent execution of what I would call a little bit of a trick play. Perfectly timed, perfectly. I don't know where this kid's going to go. He's going to go to Harvard, but can you look at him? Here's Newman downfield. Surratt is open. He's got it. Touchdown, Wake Forest. What a time that was from Newman. Good help up front. Let's take a look at the offensive line. They do a really good job. You see Walker step up and take what potentially was a blitzer on, but Surratt just runs through the middle of the defense and just a mistake in the back end by Elon. If you're the safety, you cannot allow the slot receiver to run right down through the middle of the field without you shadowing him. It looked like Hillman who's kind of a slash linebacker. Newman looks Surratt's way. Battle him for it in the end zone. Surratt with a one-handed catch. Oh, he just bullied him on this play. And Brandon Sebastian just trying to hang on for dear life. But when you can just use one hand and make a contested catch, look at that. He's Sebastian's got a hand in there, almost hitting the ball, and Sage Siraj just... 77 yards, so he's coming in hot. It'll throw immediately here on first down and a little behind the receiver, but complete. That one caught by Surratt. And Dave, you said a little behind the receiver, and you're exactly right, but I think that's where these big receivers won. Able to throw again. Wants the end zone. That one is caught. And a touchdown. Sage Surratt. It was an awful lot to handle. A 12-yard touchdown pass to get Wake on the scoreboard. Size is just too much. It's press with no help. He does a good job of not extending his arm to push off and just use his big body. And fired in the end zone and a touchdown. The strike to Surratt. From just three yards out, but a bullet. And a Demon Deacons in dire need of that score. Look at what they do. Is they're going to fake this run. And look at the impact that it has on these linebacker level players. 
and Surratt just going to use that big body to get inside. There's that run fake, the impact on the, on the linebacker level players. 38-21, how they're going to run their offense because they've been such a good running team this season. He's going to throw and have it down the right side. Caught by Surratt, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. 47 yards. Come up with a big play. They do, and they keep going back to Surratt. This time it's on Johnson. And the thing that's been amazing, Dave, is we talk about Surratt being this big physical receiver. Scotty Washington, same thing on the other side. Going up, and there's no one there to cover him. Harmon back to pass. Good time in the pocket. On target to Surratt, his favorite receiver. Gets into the open field there, and he's down close to the 15-yard line. This As we'll deal with a stop. Sorry, Dave. This is outstanding play by the quarterback, Sam Hartman. It's a slant and go. But when you look at how high Stanford Samuels is playing over the top, he just hits him with a... The longest game ever in this stadium. He's going to go long here. And that's going to be caught by Surratt as he airs it out down the left sideline. Tate Surratt on Stanford Samuels, and he just gets on top of him. I get the sense that... People Dave Clawson wants to be careful with Sam Hartman. You know, you can't do the things you would normally want to do with your quarterback as a runner. Well, how about this catch by Surratt going man-to-man -man with Samuels. What a grab. This is an amazing catch. This is exactly what he does well. Really doesn't get on the top here, but ball's in the air. Moment of truth. Defender, and no one's there to help the quarterback up. Hartman throwing as a receiver at Surratt. Down the left side. And finally taken down, Dent preventing a touchdown. By Surratt, but you're going to get a corner blitz. Now the safety is going to come over the top to try to cover it, and then it's just a double move to get on top. And so you see it there. There goes the safety blitz, or excuse me, the corner blitz, and then Taylor overruns it. It's a really good job of the Wake Forest offense of having a protection to pick it up to be able to... Newman to throw, and that is caught by Surratt. And Sage Surratt able to get the first down. That's his 54th catch of the year, number two in the country. Fake to Carney, forces that one into Surratt. Makes the catch, and stays on his feet. He'll get into the end zone. Whoa. See the blitz coming from the top of the round. Let's look at the end of the play to see if he gets in. And it looks like he does. I want to see if that ball moves at all. Empty backfield now for Newman. Another flag down. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Surratt. Lot of position. You're going to see this happen more frequently throughout the game as Virginia Tech keeps taking away Surratt on the outside. Look for him to change his lineman, his position.